time for the final game of the round of 24 and how fitting that it be a zvz <laughs> it is going to be infected versus eonzerg yep indeed we almost managed to avoid the matchup all day as well so how great would that mm. have been imagine that although to be honest i'm kind of growing to like zvz I didn't used to, but it's it's really grown on me now. I'm I'm starting to enjoy it more. One out of ten Shit. games, I think it's fine. Yeah, I we'll can I can deal with that. Yeah, as long as it's not like a ZBZ finals or anything, I'm good with it. Uh, and it is going to be uh, infected with Eonzerg. We'd imagine this is only going to end one way. Eonzerg sh should definitely feel fairly comfortable to take this, but then he would have fa felt fairly comfortable to beat Lancer X as well. So you never quite know what's going to happen. That's uh, mad. <sighs> I swear to God, if Eonzerg doesn't make it out of the round of 24, I don't, I don't even know. Like this guy is one of the best Zergs. I would say top three for a Zerg. Well, yeah. non Zeki for top three. You know? <laughs> yeah, you, it's you, not, it's you, not fair if you include Zeki in the top three because then it's really only the top two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, exactly. it doesn't... But I would be like, you know, like Eon Technics and True Touch are basically the top four in Zergs. Uh, and so if Eonzerg bombs out here, that would just be ridiculous. Yeah, that would be hugely surprising. In fact, it is very it is well thought of, but but I, I don't think he's quite of the caliber uh, to do this. He's 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 played fairly creditably today as well. He looked very solid last game versus non, um, but but I think yeah, I would expect Ian Zerg is going to be able to have this fairly simply. Um, now, having said that, it is a ZBZ, so you know we could have some twelve hatch nine pool action. We you could never know. It, never it could know. happen. You do never know. That's true. Although, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go at the top left position as the yellow Zerg. We have Razor Duck Twitch CL, aka Infected. At the bottom right is the white Zerg. We have Eon Zerg. Yes, indeed. And uh, expected to be short and sweet. Uh, trying to kind of dredge up from the back of my mind knowledge of how each of these guys like to play uh, in Zerg v Zerg. We have OBS out, so I can only imagine that at least one of them is planning to go from useless, wanting the uh, super low latency goodness. Um, yeah. It wasn't Supercalypse, though. It's usually it Supercalypse. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was poor old Nagisama. We haven't seen him at all today, have we, actually? Tupac's been yeah. AFK. Yeah. What a slacker. God. No, right? Come on, get with it, Tupac. Install. Get on yeah, the ball. Mechanical, mechanical whip on the back of the chair. Actually, no, that just sounds wrong. I guess I said that. <laughs> No, we're talking okay. mechanical whips in the stream anyway. chat, please. All right, elegant, elegant. I'm going to go for the first build. You ready? Go for it. All right. All Nine ears. pool. Yeah. All right, I got the easy one. Now you got to do uh, you got to do Eonzerg's build. All right, you can do whatever you like, because I've got an eye on Eonzerg. All right. You just do your thing. He's making no So, got a nine pool. So we're going to have some gas. Is it going to be gas trick, or is he going to legit get gas? Probably going to legit get gas. I don't think gas trick makes as much sense in ZVZ as some other matchups. Mm -hmm. Um... And in the meantime, Elegant, what's going on on the other side? I see 12 drones. He's making drones, and he's going to make a pool, so it's 12 pool. Yes! Spock Ryu, how did we do? <laughs> how did we do? Spock Ryu was uh, getting ready to correct us. I think we got yeah. it. Fortunately, there's a limit to how wrong we can go when we're you know, paying close attention to what's happening rather than times. I, I don't know about that, man. I think we can be pretty wrong sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we can be, can't we? We can that's be extremely wrong. That's because we're usually talking about minerals or unicorns or Japanese toilets. It's not our fault. Yeah, those are all very important things. More, more you've got to cover them. Zerg builds, I would say. Yeah, you've got to cover those things at the beginning of a cast. Otherwise, the viewers are left wanting. Yeah, and we're there for the viewers. It's our duty. By the way, apparently Tupac was kicked from the game before it even started. He's nah. reached a new level of <laughs> of getting annihilated from games. Poor Tupac. <laughs> what a legend. That will be his legacy. Uh, Tupac the lagger. 
<laughs> oh, he even damn. said he's gonna join the new Peruvian uh, team for the team league, the lag free team. I don't think they'll yeah, let you on though. The yeah, lag free, bro. Team. Yeah, that is making me laugh. Hopefully they 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 live by their mantra. We do have a bunch of links coming out right now for uh, for that name is so confusing because occasionally I have to check the diplomacy tab to see who's who. Yeah. We have a bunch of links coming out for infected. Um, and he's heading off towards Ionzo, but Ionzo brings of course pop exactly in time uh, and he should be able to easily fend this off and maybe with the help of a drone or two and yeah, it looks like his drone's coming down to the bottom right now so he should be able to deal with this fairly easily we've seen it happen many times before and we'll see it happen many times again this is the magic of ZVZ and here it is, just doing a little bit of the dancing around action this speed is where down. you try and get a drone while speed is your advantage looks like... Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like how Yanzo split up his Zerglings into two groups. One group to threaten the hatchery. Like, oh, oh no, he's not paying attention oh. though! Oh. oh! Oh no! Oh no! He got the drone! Wait, I thought that was an accident, but he was actually intentionally slapping the drone. That's crazy! Yeah, yeah, and then another drone was kind of wandering off. I thought you meant that um, Eonzerg was, wasn't paying attention because he wasn't. One of his drones was wandering off, he let one of his drones get sniped, but he's now finally able to push his opponent's wings back and he only loses one drone in a little bit of mining time for his trouble as well, so not too terribly bad. No lair happening as of yet for Eonzerg, and look at this. He's not going for lair. There's no way he can be going for lair at this point. He's making lots of links and he's going to attack. Oh. He might be forced into some kind of spore colony position as well if this is not successful. And looks like he's gonna try and, uh, in fact, he's gonna try and buy some time on the ramp. But it looks like he doesn't have enough time to set up the nice little arc here. Just gonna have to poke back and forth a little bit until the sunken is finished. The sunken is only just now starting. He needs to buy oh, a little Yonzo. bit more time. He even has a drone there. Drone guy needs to go back. And here we go. Yonzo goes up the ramp. In fact, oh, has to be careful. Pumpkin. Looks like he's gonna run away. And it looks like he's gonna go back. The sunken is done at least, so he is gonna hold for now. Yeah, he's gonna hold for now, but Eonzo is gonna be forced. Um, he's got to make some defensive tech. I think there is no way he's going to be able to have um, to have any kind of decent useless count by the time uh, by the time his opponent's spire is done. I, j I just don't really see it happening. I guess he knows better than I do. Well, of course he knows better than I do, but um, that still remains to be seen exactly what he'll do about it. He still has a little bit of time to make his, uh, his evolution chamber, and that's going to probably go down in a second or two. And meanwhile, the Spire is about to finish in the main base from Clayton, and the Lings are going for it again. They might be able to do some decent damage to the drones. He has to try and make those Lings pay off. He's managed to snipe one drone, two drones. He's doing actually fairly quite well. Three drones go down, maybe another one here. Four drones. This is getting really, really bad for Clayton. Five drones. How is this happening? He needs to drill a little bit better than this. The Sunken Colony is going to go down too. Infected is actually going to lose to the mass Ling attack right here. The Sunken Colony is done. All the drones are done. I can't help but feel that, that is absolutely 100% GG. And there's going to be no need even for any kind of spore colony. Wow, Eon Zerg, I didn't know if he could to go for that, but it looks like he knew exactly that he could. Meanwhile, getting his spores up back home, uh, those are definitely going to be in time, and I think once Infected sees those, he might just have to tap out. He's down to 10 supply. He is no. making some Zerglings now as well, but... I mean, he's mining with two drones. That was a crazy Zergling attack from Eon Zerg, and he pulled it off just right here. It looks like uh, a couple of these things are even going to get intercepted by the Mutas. I mean, I think Infected knows that it's too late, that the spores will be up by the time he gets here, so he's not... I don't know what he's going to do. I mean, he's going to fight on, of course, because this is the, uh, the final game here. This is it. No more losers match, no more nothing. This is uh, do or die for these players. And of course, Infected uh, had the uh, misfortune in Season 1 of TLS to uh, miss the game time because he misread the time or something for the time zone. Uh, so he actually just gave walkovers in, in Season 1. And I don't know what happened in Season 2. I can't remember. I think he got knocked out quickly. But um, yeah, so he really wants his chance in TLS. And unfortunately, it's not looking like he's going to make it through here. Yep. Looks like he is going to be done. He's doing his utmost. This is the death for him. This is it. Um, he loses this one and he's out. But it looks like it is going to end that way. He's going to do his best to snipe off some drones. He's going to have to snipe off a lot to bring himself back to even. And even then, um, he's in a much worse position than his opponent, even with equal drone counts. A few links, oh, fair few links, man. He's not quite sure how that happened. And he's going to be able to help defend at the top of the ramp. But um, it's not a bad move right there from Infected. But I don't feel like it's going to be anything like him there. Yeah, it looks like Infected wanted to get those links in to try and help bust down this one spore colony that was there, but Eonzerg making sure it doesn't happen, and Infected GG! GG! Eonzerg makes it out of the group 2-1, getting a little bit hairy there, but he does make it out. Infected 
has been eliminated. Yeah, that's... Um, uh, Eon Zerg's plan worked out. What more can we say? I mean, Infected maybe could have been a little bit smarter. He could have made a few more links. Could have done a better job of holding top of his ramp. He needed the concave to really fight against superior Ling number because that would have been hard for Eon Zerg to break. Uh, even though Infected wouldn't have had quite so many Lings, he wouldn't, maybe wouldn't have been able to get to the top of that ramp. But it just didn't end that way, and in fact, he wasn't able to prepare himself quite enough for that number of links. I mean, Eons Zerg also hit the perfect timing. There were three larvae saved to be made into mutas, so, you know, it was the absolute weakest point uh, for Infected. Infected did some pretty nice drone drilling, but, yeah, as you say, it just wasn't quite enough. I was really surprised, actually, because with the drone drilling, I thought he'd actually be able to hold. Yeah, and, me too. Uh, and then Eons Zerg somehow just brute forced it down, which is pretty insane. So, uh... Yeah, with that, we now have our players for the round of 16, and not just the players, ladies and gentlemen, but the groups have also been decided. We had a seeding uh, order going from the round of 24 into the round of 16, so the groups are in. They are on Liquipedia already. So give me a second, and I will bring these up for you guys. Okay, let's see. All right, all right. Black screen, just chill for a second. Just chill. Wait, what do I... Oh, oh. Oh, what, do I do this? Do I do... Do I do this? <laughs> I trust you. Wait! Oh, this, seem, this seems to have worked. All right! Ladies and gentlemen, the round of 16 of TLS Season 3. In Group A. Oh, man, it's looking pretty hard. <laughs> Siki, True Touch, Zaraki, and Freeman. Oh, 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 poor <laughs> Freeman. Freeman. Oh, Freeman. Oh no, poor Freeman. Oh my god. What, right. what did Freeman do to deserve this, Elegant? He, I tell you what he did. He made hurtful comments about AOV in the stream chat <laughs> earlier. So good. Take that, Freeman. <laughs> Group B, Technics, Andre, Bakaryu, and Dragon. Well, I read those out of order, but there you go. Yeah. Uh, interesting. So we got two race pickers in the group. I get, But I'm pretty sure they'll play... TVP against each other with Andre, Terran, and Dragon Parados. Yeah, um, but it's hard to see either of them. Also, the matches, no. by the way... Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 sorry, you go. Uh, the matches, by the way, are 1v4 and 2v3 again to start, I'm pretty sure. Um, we can actually even see here. Wait. Yeah, I think, I think that would be... All right, Group C. Julia, Busy, Lancer X, and Octzerg. Mm. Very mm. cool. That's a legit group. I think Busy's yeah. got a pretty solid shot there. Yeah, I, rec I reckon he has. Dude, Lancer X, if he plays PvZ like he did today, he could actually beat Oxyrk and Julia. <laughs> he really could. That would be insane. But people have been hyping up Julia a little bit, as far as I can see. They've been saying you know, that Julia's going to do well in this. So um, he's going to have his work cut out for him. Lancer X going to have a pretty hard time in that one. Um, but you yeah. never know. He could get out of it. Yeah, I think he's definitely the underdog in that group. Um, hey, he was the underdog not, today as well. He was well, not well. I think Non was the underdog in his in that group. But yeah, that yeah, is true. I, I would still have favored the Zergs anyway. Yeah. And the last group. Oh my God, this group breaks my heart. Terror, Rams, Doty, and Eon Zerg. Wow. Oh man, I mean, two amazing Terran players are Protoss Hero and one of the best Zergs in the foreign scene. Like, what the hell? <laughs> That's hard group to D. see, isn't it? I think Group That's D is rude. actually the group of death. Because Group oh, A, yeah. even though it's got Seeky and True Touch, Zaraki and Freeman are actually not amazingly strong relatively. Group That's... D, though, what the hell? Can we reroll? <laughs> I would really is love that allowed? to. In this situation, but I don't think so. We've already publicized it. Man, it's just a Liquipedia page, man. Clearly, it's not right. Yeah, it's not legitimate. Muka edited it wrong. There was a fiasco. All right, you know. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch uh, Zaraki and Eon Zerg, so Eon can go into that sick group. And I feel bad for Freeman then. So maybe maybe we can switch him out as well. We just need we need this group to like we need Terra, Rams, and Dodi all to advance. That's what we need. Yeah. Yeah. I think that um I think that in group B we're gonna have some serious trouble for Andre and, and Dragon. I can't really see how they're gonna get out of that one alive. Uh, I would say so, but I think Dra Dragon Bakri was close. I wouldn't say Bakri's a clear favorite because I know Dragon's been practicing pretty hard and Bakri only just started practicing. 
for round 24 basically so yeah. i think um i think that's a pretty hard group i think technics is ba is basically guaranteed to get out and then i would say yeah dragon bakri for me is a is a toss-up um and group a obviously is seeking i think we should go through all the groups so group a i think <laughs> pretty idea. much everyone agrees is seeky true touch almost no question um then we just did group b for group c Again, busy like Technics, I think is a pretty clear favorite to get out, and then after that, I'm not really sure. What do you think? Um, group Group C. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Busy, I think Busy needs to get out because Busy, Busy the boss, and I think he can beat Zeki. So Busy has to go through. Lance Rex, I can't. I don't know. I, if he's just against Julia and Octog, then I can see it happening. So you know, it's possible. Um, but I, th I think I'd pick Julia and Busy to go through that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A little bit tough. I have no idea, really. I'm going to go Busy and somebody. Yeah. Um, busy should be feeling pretty good. And Group D. Oh, Group D. That's just horrible. Oh, my God. Come on, Protoss Hero. doty has got to go through. I, I feel like with two Terrans in the group, Doty has a pretty solid shot. Yeah. Because let's, let's be honest for a second. Freeman. He's not going anywhere <laughs> except down. He is in so much trouble. He needs to practice some seriously good cheese for PVZ. Yeah. And Lance Rex is in a tenuous position. It could happen, but we're going to be relying on Doty here for the process here. I mean, Dragon race fix Protoss two thirds of the time. Yeah, but this is this is the um, this is the round of uh, the round of sixteen curse. This is where I can see all the Zergs distilling into one mega yep. Zerg endgame. This well, at least at least we're guaranteed one non-zerg at a group D. So yeah. worst case scenario, we have seven zergs and one non-zerg in round of eight. Yeah, Actually, gonna... that sounds pretty terrible. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, wait. Let's. All right, we gotta pick. We gotta pick. I'm gonna pick Doty, and I'm gonna pick. You know what? I'm gonna pick Rams. I'm not gonna yeah. pick Eon Zerg. I'm gonna pick Rams. Yeah, I'm gonna say the same because I can't. I can't bring myself to say Eon Zerg. Sorry, need, Eon. Yeah, you're really good, but we need more. We need more other guys. We need gonna, you to like, lose, please. I'm gonna message everyone and tell them to practice. I don't want to see any excuses coming out of you <laughs> non-zergs. Gotta hold the torch. They do indeed. All right, so let's go back to us casters, and uh, I think it is time to wrap it up. Then, um, if you uh, want to take a look at those groups, they're obviously on Liquipedia. You can go check out the page yourself. And uh, we'll be going straight to the round of 16 next weekend. Now, do note that these are uh, the group format's going to be slightly different. So the first and second match uh, will still be best of ones. But the winners, losers, and final match will all be best of threes from now on. And the map pool has changed. Uh, the three maps in use for the round of 16 groups will be Polaris Rhapsody, Andromeda, and Fighting Spirit. I believe in that order. Um, there will be confirmation soon. So if you're one of those players in the round of 16... Uh, get to practicing those maps. Please. If you are uh, just a viewer, then I hope you tune in next week. I believe we might start doing Saturday and Sunday casts because the groups are going to be a lot more games. So we might do uh, like Group A Saturday, Group B Sunday or something like that. Um, yes. There will be some confirmation announcement or something soon on Team Liquid. So you can check that out. Uh, otherwise, a huge thanks again to our sponsors, Razer and Twitch TV. They are super awesome. Buy their stuff, buy their gear. Uh, or buy Razer gear, uh, get Twitch uh, subscriptions great. and Turbo and yeah. all that good jazz. I saw people complaining about ads actually today. So if you get Turbo, you don't get ads. Easy. Yeah. So easy. Easy peasy. Uh, and of course, huge thanks again to Team Liquid, everyone who made everything possible, especially Tupac. That guy uh, works really hard for everything. He's our uh, lovely head organizer guy, I guess. And uh, of course, thanks to all the viewers for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Big hearts. <laughs> Big hearts indeed. Thanks, guys. Apart from BM people. Yes, yeah. apart from them, and apart from those freaking bots that were spamming our channel. You they were guys a bit suck. much, weren't they? <laughs> but yeah, big thanks to everyone else who makes the stream what it is. Uh, and we'll see you again next week. All right, see ya.